Hi everybody, in today's lecture we will get familiar with some other properties like background and alignment and also we will draw with Bezier tools. At the beginning we can see two tabs in properties window, presentation and background. In the presentation you will find alignment frame which lets you align different objects and change the order of them. However, in the background tab, you can change the background image, color, and add your business card to your presentation. So let's skim over alignment and try them by ourselves. And during our journey, we will introduce some other related functions. First, let's draw an ellipse together with the rectangle. Okay. Let's change the background color. So we will give the red color to the, to the ellipse fill color and change the fill color of the rectangle to the green. By clicking on the background, you will go to the presentation. So now we can see two of them appeared in the alignment list. By clicking on them, we can see that corresponding object will be selected. Suppose we want to align them from the left. First, we need to select those objects we want to align. And after that, by clicking on the buttons, which I will show you, first, keep the control button down, press, so we will see that both of them are selected. Again, I will do this. Okay, first this, this, so you will have two of them. In order to align from the left, we need to choose this button. We can see there is a line and the items are aligned from the left to here. We can see that we can easily align them to the left or to the right by clicking on this button or from their top. And finally from their bottom so we can see that by these four buttons we can align them sometimes you may need to equalize the sizes of objects this button with equality icon will fulfill your demand the size and placement of objects would be the same by the last button which show circle inside rectangle this particular operation is important when you want to insert the text inside the hollow objects like ellipse. So this one is for equality. We can see that the size would be equal but not the location. However, if we want to uh, make them totally equal, I mean inside each other, we will select again both of them. And this last button will do this for us. So, here we can see that it is behind the rectangle, but sometimes we, we need to bring it to the front. So, in order to change the order of objects, we need to work with these buttons. So, you can change order of objects. For example, we want to draw field rectangle over ellipse, or ellipse over rectangle. By changing order of them, we can reach to our goal. Okay. So we will choose, for example, field rectangle up and it is behind the circle now, behind the lips now. So we can change the order if we have more than two. For example, some of them are here. So in order to change the order of the field rectangle from here to the top of all of them, we will select this one. It will come to the front front of all of them or by selecting it by selecting it from here and this button send it back of the background so it will be back of everything every other objects therefore we can change the order as well as the alignment in the alignment frame now let's group current object to a united mixed shape. We can do it from edit menu or by pressing Ctrl plus G buttons. It will ask us to define the group name. 
So let's first select them. Here we are. Control G group up group name. So we are specifying group one as a group name for example here. So it will gone, the all other object will gone and group one is just remain. After grouping objects, we cannot align them or change the order of object inside them. By pressing Ctrl G over selected group, you can decompose it to its building block again. Now we reach to a level that we can handle Bezier. We are going to draw a heart by Bezier. Okay, let's get into it. So first we'll remove all of them. From here. Let's draw heart. From here we will choose the Bezier tool. The last part, in order to close your Bezier, you should keep the control button down and click the last one. So it will be close Bezier. So we have it here, but it is, you can see it's like a polygon. We don't want, we, we want it to be more smooth. S in order to make it smoother, uh, from the anchor selector, from the toolbox, we will choose anchor selector. It will show all the anchors of the Bezier. Now we can make it smooth by changing red and black anchors. Sorry if my drawing is not that much good, but I'll try to draw it better. Okay, it seems good. Good enough. Okay, now we have our heart. But we want more. However, we want with the different color, angle and sizes. But we don't want to do it manually. Cluster clone is the solution which is under edit menu. So first let's make it smaller. From here we choose the free transform. Keep the shift button down and make it smaller to the proper size okay that's it select it from the edit menu cluster clone click on it you will have many options like number of clone object we want 20 or maybe 40 different parts in the variance of so the distance the variance of the distance from the central object would be in here I want 300 let's make it 400 I want the rotation change from minus 180 degree to plus 180 degree size from half to twice I want to be to be different to vary from half to twi twice and the color should be also different from each other okay so we have our hearts now let's merge them together again control G uh, we will choose romantic Okay. 
Also, there is another way to add visitors and groups by importing them from other art projects. For example, we want to add a ghost to this romantic theme. Easy as time. Import objects. It will ask you to locate your uh, project, ghost project. Okay, if you are choosing, a, for example, a shape, it will draw here a preview of it. Or if you want to add a group of uh, objects, you can choose it by their name. Here, I have a group with the name of ghost, so I will choose this one because I want my ghost to have eyes also. I did it before and now I have ghost in my romantic thing. We will return to the presentation tab again when we want to animate presentation but it is time to go over background tab. You can have different color and even different image for background. Let me customize current project by modifying background. Okay First, we want to choose the first color of background. For the gradient color, it is really important to know the first color and the second color. I want it to be gray from white to gray. So let's choose the white. For the background too, let's make it gray. Okay. Now it is because single color now we know we want to change it to the gradient color here we go top to bottom right to left forward diagonal backward diagonal and radial button, radial gradient all of them are available here also it's not finished here you can add the background image to your uh, theme so here I have some backgrounds, let's choose this one. Now I have a background image instead of just color. I can change up a as well. Now I can see that the gradient color is blended with the image. Also here we can see ruler. So if we want to be guide by the ruler we can choose it it will not be shown in your presentation just it is for the design time sometimes we want to add some information about our presenter or about ourselves if we want to present so we can use this frame id card if we enable it it will show a dark frame on the top left position of your you can insert your name here name for example, master presenter, your email, presenter at sign gmail.com, for example. And also, you can add your image, your own image. So, so we have our frame with the picture and the information also you can simulate parallax effect when you have an image in background in order to enable parallax effect you need to check this checkbox now parallax effect is enabled what is exactly parallax effect you can zoom, in, zoom into object and you can see that if you move the object the background is moving with a different speed. It's cool, sometimes you want to do it. It gives depth into your presentation. Okay, thanks for watching and in the next video we will start animation and transition. Peace.